So I feel like my job is to heal out loud and be so much myself that every woman who encounters Girl Just Heal feels that she has no other choice but to heal and grow and evolve into the best version of herself because that's exactly what she's surrounded by the moment she enters this space. What's poppin' home, girls? Welcome back to the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm Nimoya Basin, and I pray that you are doing well today. How has your week been? How has your life been? I want to know all the things y'all know. And y'all be leaving me hanging. Let me just say that. Because I come here and I be asking y'all how y'all doing. Y'all don't even be talking back to your girl. Like, leave me a comment. Let me know how you are doing I just want to know, you know, I'm here to build. We are building a community. So I need you to respond back to me, okay? I need you to put some stuff in the comments. Let's chat it up, all right? Let's talk. I want to talk about what you want to talk about. (laughs) So let me know how you're doing. I have been doing pretty good. Um, I can't complain. God is good. God has really been blessing me um, and... I'm just so thankful, so grateful. So we're going to just go ahead and dive right into it. And y'all already know what time it is, baby. What time is it, baby? It is time for the prayer cards, prayer cards, time for the prayer cards, prayer cards. Hey, hey, prayer cards, prayer cards. So it is time for the prayer cards. And y'all, this stack is getting thin. (laughs) Like, baby, we have been moving through these prayer cards and... I'm loving it. I am loving these prayer cards. I'm going to have to try to locate some more. Um, That's the thing. I don't know if they are all the same. I'm going to have to go by the Dollar Tree and see if all of the prayer cards are the same or if they have different scriptures. Because if they got different scriptures in each pack, oh, baby, I'm going to grab some other than this color box, so like the little teal color. I saw a pink box. I saw a purple box. Them the only two I saw, so they may have some more. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. Let's see what the Lord is going to say to us today through these scripture cards. Ooh. Let's see. All right. Man, something's in my eye. Fix it, Jesus. All right, we got it, we got it. So, I'm excited to get started. All right. So, our scripture for... T- mm, mm, mm. Come on, this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible. Yes, God. This is Proverbs chapter 31, verse 25. And it reads, she is clothed in strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Hmm. I don't know what it is, but we've been talking about strength a lot lately, and I feel like God has really been dealing with me about strength in my own life, and it just keeps coming. So, Lord, whatever it is you're saying to me about strength, like, I'm hearing you. My ears are open. So let's go to it in the New Living Translation version. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 25. And you know, like, well, if you've been in church any amount of time or if you've even seen around social media, you always see people talking about a props, uh, people talking about a Proverbs 31 woman. Yes, baby. This is why, because Proverbs 31 is amazing, like for real. All right. So it says New Living Translation Version. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Hold up. Y'all. Let me find out these cards is the New Living Translation version. How many weeks we done been on these cards? And child, I ain't even noticed. Hold tight. She is clothed. Well, no, okay. So one word is different. The card says she is clothed in strength and dignity, and the New Living Translation says she is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. It's only one word that was the difference, though. So what's really going on? Like, I'm, 
let me just go to another version. I'm going to go to the Amplified version. Amplified says, strength and dignity are her clothing and her position is strong and secure. And she smiles at the future knowing that she and her family are prepared. Hold up, baby. What? <laughs> Honey, the Amplified version and really broke it down. Let me read this again because I got to talk about this. Strength and dignity are her clothing and her position is strong and secure. Baby right there would make you shout. Her position is strong and secure in whatever it is that God has for me to do. My position is I'm standing strong in that. Even if I feel like I ain't qualified, baby, I'm going to stand strong in it. Come through. And she smiled. Hold on. Let, wait. Her position is strong and secure. So not only am I going to be strong in my position, but I already know that whatever it is God has for me, he ain't going to deliver my mail to nobody else address. My position is secure. No matter how long it takes me to get in that position, no matter how long it takes me to get in that area, that realm of my life that God has already prepared for me, he already planned for me to be there. Baby, it's already done. I'm just on my way to, to get into that position. But it's already secure. I don't got to worry about it. I don't got to worry about nobody else getting in that position. It's already mine. What's for me is for me. What's for you is for you. Your position is secure and can't nobody take it. This just done set me on fire because your position... Whatever it is that God called you to do, sometimes we get so afraid because we feel like, Lord, I ain't in, I, I'm not doing it as fast as such and such is doing it. Or by the time I get there, it ain't going to be right. Or people going to already do it. I ain't going to have nobody that understands me because I took so long to get to that place. It doesn't matter who has come before you. It doesn't matter who is doing everything right now that you want to do. Baby, be content in whatever season of life that you are in right now because your position, let me tell you, I ain't doing nothing but reiterating what this verse says, and I'm encouraging you. Your position is already secure. It's already yours. Come on, it is already yours. Whatever it is, that healing, baby, it's already yours. You just got to get there. That peace of mind, it's already yours. You just got to get to it. That breakthrough, it's already yours. You just have to keep going and make it to that position in which it's already yours, rightfully so. Mm, let's go. I told y'all, this set me on fire, baby. The Okay, so... The last part of that in the Amplified version is, and she smiles at the future, knowing that she and her family are prepared. And this really stirred me up because none of us know what's going to happen in the future. None of us really know how our life is going to play out. We live in day to day just hoping for the best, praying for the best, and trying to live our lives accordingly to the direction that we want to go. We don't know what's going to happen, but this says she smiles at the future. She has joy in her heart. She has peace about the future, knowing that she and her family are prepared. So it ain't just about you. It ain't just about you walking into your future and what you going to do. No, no, no. It's about your family. All those people connected to you. Because when you elevate, when you walk into the future, when you step into your position that's already secured, those people that's closest to you, they come in too. So you smiling at the future, you smiling at your future self. I don't know about y'all, but for me, child, I'm smiling at my healing, my complete healing. I'm smiling at the place that God is taking me. I ain't done yet. It's still a position of, that Nemoya has to get to that's already secured for me. So I'm smiling at that. But in my mind, I'm thinking too, baby, when I get here, oh, the joys it'll be to share this experience with my family, with the ones that are closest to me. 
Who child look? Let me tell y'all. Child, I think we done went. How many minutes we done went? I don't even know. But we done went some time off this one scripture. Again, Proverbs 31, verse 25. I encourage you to go read the whole Proverbs 31. I love Proverbs 31. But something about this did something to me today that, baby, let me just tell you. Mm, mm, mm. Child, look, I don't know. Maybe that's the episode. Like, I don't even know if we need to go no more because the word that went forth, like God that just came in and child, he that just stirred the pot and just got me so excited. So excited to know that my position, that part of the scripture got me. My position is secure. <laughs> it is secure. Like, do y'all know what the word secure mean? Like, my position is already accounted for. Nobody else can step into that. I think back to when I first started the Girl Just Heal podcast, even before I started it, because like I said, I got this idea back in 2021. And even before I started the Girl Just Heal podcast, I didn't know at the time what I was going to do. But God knew in 2021 that my position for this very thing was already secured in 2023 but I had to make it through everything I went to from 2021 to 2022, from 2022 to 2023. I had to make it through everything I went to, everything I went through to get to this position. But the thing is, the position was already there waiting for me. And that is blowing my mind to know that there is some things in my future that's already there waiting for me. It's already waiting. I ain't even tapped in to the best version of me yet. <laughs> to the version of me that God has waiting for me. I ain't even tapped into that version. I feel like I'm just, I just jumped off the porch. Like that's how I feel in my life right now. I just jumped off the porch and I jumped into a position that was already designed for me. It was already waiting for me. And I have even more positions to step into that's in the future. Some positions I don't even know about. Some positions that I know God called me to be in, but I still have to work to get to those positions. Listen, it's some stuff in your life. Baby, look, and all of this, all of this is a part of your journey. Because through the process, I think about me from 20 to, in 2021, when God first gave me this idea, I could not have launched the Girl Just Heal podcast in 2021 because there was still some healing that had to take place. It was still some evolution that had to take place. I had to grow in so many areas. So I couldn't have done it in 2021. It really would have been a flop. I would have failed at it. And I know I would have because I didn't have what it took. Well, I probably, let me not say I didn't have what it took. I feel like I've always had what it took, but I just wasn't walking in that. I didn't really believe in that. And I had to go through some more things in life that strengthened me, that built me up and that, that positioned me for greatness that positioned me and that helped me get into position, whatever it was God had waiting for me, which was this podcast, the Girl Just Heal Facebook community. I had to grow to get here. And, and I'm here to encourage you and just tell you that it's some positions in your life that God has waiting for you. God has these positions. I'm talking about they just sitting there. Like, Oprah, you get a car, you get, no, you get a position, you get a position, you get a position, you get a position. It's sitting there waiting for you. These positions are sitting there. They already yours. They got your name on top. Because just because it may be some people in your life that go and they get in that position first, guess what? It ain't going to knock your position down. It ain't going to knock you out the park because your position still waiting right there with your name on it. But you have to embrace the journey. Whatever journey it is that you are going through right now, you have to embrace that. And you have to say, okay, Lord, what healing do I need to take place? Do, what healing needs to take place in my life? What healing do I need to go through so that I can get closer to the position that you have for me? 
What growth, what areas of my life do I need to grow in? What evolution needs to take place? Because you got to understand you can't walk into these positions the same person that you are today. It has to be an evolution that take place because when you get to that position, you got to be able to sustain that position. 2021 Nemoya couldn't sustain the position with Girl Just Heal that 2023 Nemoya is able to sustain. And I had to go through some growing pains. I had to grow through it. I, I couldn't skip a step to get in position. No, I had to go through everything. Every single thing I went through, the thoughts of feeling inadequate. I had so many thoughts of inadequacy. The thoughts of, I'm not qualified, I can't do this. The self-sabotage, the depression, the anxiety. All of that, I had to go through. It had to happen to me so that I could get into that position that God already ordained for me to be in. My goodness, this is so heavy on me. Y'all, look, we just flowing. We just following what God is giving me in this episode. Like, I, what I have for this episode, originally that was supposed to be for this episode, baby, it's going to have to be for the next episode because God then sent me in a total different vein, and I am following because I feel like it's somebody that needs to understand that your position is secure. <laughs> By God today, your position is secure. Baby, you ain't got to worry about it. Stop stressing yourself out. Get you some sleep. Go keep on planning whatever it is that you planning. Baby, keep on making the plan. Keep on keep the ideas flowing. Keep the content coming. Your position is secure, but you need to, to start working on it now. Mm-hmm. I didn't just start working on the Girl Just Hill podcast in 2023. Baby, I started formulating episodes and formulating how I wanted to do this back in 2021 when the idea was given to me. But I didn't totally and fully step into the call, step into the position until 2023. But in that two-year span, I was working. I was getting ready. Ooh, child, you got to get ready. Get ready for what it is that God is positioning you for. Get ready for what it is that God is calling you to. You got to get ready. You got to start working now. That work that you are doing now, it is not in vain. People might think you crazy. Why are you working on that? Why are you working on this stuff for the business? You ain't got no building. Baby, get to working. Just... Let them talk, okay? And you keep on working because guess what? That building is already set aside for you. Child, look, I ain't even no preacher, but my goodness. That building is already set aside for you with your name on it. That position is already yours with your name on it. But do the work. Keep doing the work right where you at. Keep on doing the work so that when you arrive there, baby, you already ready. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. When you arrive at that position, it's going to be like, all right, give me the key. Let's go. We going in and we going full force. Like, give it to me. Give me the key. Give me give me the, the, the blueprint, whatever you need. Give it to me. Give me the manual, all that. Because, baby, we going full force. I'm not going to get to this position and have to try to get stuff together. No, baby, what we doing? At Girl Just Heal, we get into the position, and we already going to be ready. Come on. <laughs> when you get to that position, baby, be ready. Be ready now before you get to that position. So that when you get to that position, you ain't got to get ready because you already ready. <laughs> like, you already about it. You like, all right. God, I was just waiting to get here. I was working while I was waiting. Uh-oh. I was working while I was waiting. What work you putting in while you waiting on God to elevate you? What work you putting in while you waiting on God to heal you? What work you putting in? You got to put something in. 
And even even with the healing process, like you have to put some work in to get something out. You got to do some stuff. You got to pick yourself up on some days. You got to put on some clothes. You got to say some affirmations. You got to do the work. God going to deliver you to that healed version of yourself, but you still have to put in the work to reach that version of you. God told you it's yours. He already said that you being healed is it's yours. It's in his plan for you. He has plans of good and not of evil for us to bring us to an expected end, to bring us to that position that we want to be in, to bring us to that better version of ourselves. But we can't get there if we ain't putting in the work. You got to give them something to work with now. You got to do something. Put in that work. Put in that work. Ooh, child. Listen. Ooh, child, I didn't get hot in here, y'all. <laughs> I didn't got hot in here because Holy Spirit just came in and Holy Spirit came in and wrecked this episode, y'all. So that's it. That's all I have for this episode. So we're going to close it out with the Girl Just Heal mantra. And I want you to just drop in with me with this mantra. Um, make this mantra personal. It is it is something personal for each one of us. So make it personal. And we're going to go ahead and repeat this mantra. If you know it, let's repeat it together. If this is your first time listening to an episode of the Girl Just Heal podcast, then just listen to the mantra and then repeat it. So let's go ahead and repeat this together. The mantra is, I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. Mm. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. Yes. Come on, we're going to repeat it one more time. Let's say it collectively. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. So that is all I have for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Nimoya Bazin. And until we speak again, girl, just heal. All right, homegirl, thank you for tuning in to the Girl Just Heal podcast. We want to make sure that we continue supporting you during your healing journey. So be sure to connect with us on all social media platforms at Girl Just Heal and also join our private Girl Just Heal Facebook community so that you can continue to heal, grow and evolve.